What's happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. This week for Rust Belt's Nifty Tools of the Week, we've got another four tools here for you to be able to show you what I've used this week, what's helped me on my job, and what could hopefully help you guys in your jobs coming up too. We're gonna go with the big boy here first, just so we can go through that to get it out of my way here. But this makes my job so much easier when you're doing uh, services, when I'm doing intakes on these 3.6 liters, anytime I need to clear any kind of amount of fluid off of the engine bay or off of the transmission. If I'm wanting to do a transmission service and I don't wanna have all that transmission fluid just dumped down all over when you take the pan off, this thing's really nice to suck it out of the way. This is made by MineVac. The part number on this one is 7201. It's really nice that it comes with three different extensions, one that I don't have shown here. The main one is this larger diameter tube, which goes to a smaller one, which could go to a smaller one yet to fit into the uh, tubes that for filling that you could shove down into the transmission to suck things out. It's very nice because it's got quick disconnect fittings. You're able to connect it together, each one of them. And then it also has a drain here on top. This stopper plug unlocks, pulls out, so you can just take the whole thing and tip it over when you've got it nice and filled here. The cool thing also about it is that it does both suction and it puts fluid in. So if you've got a differential that you've got, you know, kind of a hard place to get and you can't put another uh, fluid insertion tool, this works great for that one. All you have to do is there's a little plunger right here on the side. You just push or pull up on it, changes it from suction to pressure and it is hand operated. They do have one that is the 7300 model, I believe, that is able to hook to shop air. But this one, just for what we need to drag it all around the shop, it's just hand pump right there. It does have a nice little foot stamp right here that slides out so you can put your foot onto it to balance it and it's not all shaking and wobbling all over the place. All in all, it's a really great tool for the money. It helps save you guys a lot of time. You can find this one uh, on the trucks. Usually they charge about 200 bucks, but if you wanna save yourself some money, they do have this one on Amazon for right at $102. Like I said, this is the Mighty Vac, part number 7201. Next on the nifty tools list is gonna be this inner tie rod tool by Mayhew. Part number on this one is 29910. It, there are a couple of different manufacturers who make this one, but Mayhew I found is the one who has most of their stuff stamped on it, and you can find just about the best deal and price on it. It does have a rolling clutch here in the end of it, a hollow tube to where you can put your inner tie rod into for a long distance. Uh, great for those trucks that have those extra long tie rod ends. And then here on the end, it is a nice one inch, I believe, end to it. So you can get a socket or a wrench onto it. And this thing is fantastic in just about any place you can get it to. Uh, all of the tie rods that you have these days, they're all rounded ends. They don't have that nice nut end that they used to anymore. So having that one-way locking clutch tool makes it really nice. Now this one doesn't just do the single direction. This one will work for tightening it as well. So all you have to do is put it on there. The one-way clutch locks it into place as you start to turn it. You turn it a little bit harder and it locks into place break your tie rod end loose, and when you're pulling it back on, twist it a little bit harder, it'll lock into the on position, and then you're able to tighten it up. This is a great tool to have, rather than trying to get a set of spanner wrenches or something like that into those subframe areas. Doesn't work so well. This works fantastically. I would definitely recommend for you guys to have this tool. Now this one was available on the truck for right around 200 bucks, but like I said, you guys can pick this up just about anywhere on any truck. Everybody has this one as pretty much the standard tool, and you can even pick this one up also on Amazon for 112 bucks, which is, I think, a pretty darn good deal. Third on our list of tools for the week is gonna be the Astro Pneumatic Rivnut Installer Tool. 
This is a 13 inch RivNut installer. Part number on this one is gonna be 1442. This one is great for getting into different areas. I use this primarily for uh, installing riv nuts underneath of vehicles for running boards. If anybody knows Dodges, you have to install the riv nuts on your own. So not every once in a while do you really have the time or anything to get all of your uh, air tools or electric tools up there to use their installation tools, which also fail quite often. These are made of a very nice solid steel. It's 13 inches you're able to adjust the tension and the length of the fitting. So you're able to adjust for a smaller or a longer pull on it. It gets a lot of really good leverage and it does come with six different bits. The different bits are for, you know, everything from, let's see, an M5, M6, M8, and then in the standards, it comes with a quarter 20, 10, 24, and a 5 16 18. The really th cool thing that I like about this kit is it comes with a whole bunch of bags of riv nuts for you as well. So not only do you have the tool, you've always also got the riv nuts to be able to install. They do have the knurled ends to keep them from spinning when you go to put the nuts in, but usually I don't have any issues with that one. This tool does install them very nice and tight. Like I said, you're able to adjust the depth on it to pull a little bit more if you really need to. So it's got the riv nuts for every single one, as well as the tool end for installing that, the different tips onto there. It's really strong tool. I definitely would recommend that one, especially for you guys who are metal uh, fabrication guys who are installing the riv nuts all the time. Dodge guys who are putting running boards on all the time. It works great for me. I would definitely recommend that one. Uh, they do have these on a couple of the Matco trucks that I have found, but not too often. They definitely didn't have this on a Snap-on truck. He had to uh, special order this one for us at the shop, but I also did find this one online at uh, Tool Vendors or Amazon. Uh, this one ended up running $68.05, which is a pretty good deal for you know what we use it for. I definitely recommend that one. We've been using it for about six, eight months now and haven't had a single issue with it. I definitely recommend that one for you guys. Last but certainly not least on our list is the Matco BTS-8. This is a newer tool out or tool set by Matco. It is primarily for battery and battery tending usage for uh, cleaning the posts. Uh, it's an eight piece toolkit, everything. It's got three different ratcheting ends, the wrenches for taking off your battery terminals. It's got a long eight millimeter end one or five sixteenths, whichever you prefer. It also has a short 10 millimeter one as well. They are reversible ratcheting and wrenches, a nice rubberized grip then the shorter eight millimeter one. The longer eight millimeter has a smaller, looks like a thinner end pry tool for being able to help pry up on some of those posts that are extra stuck on. So that does help. And then the set of battery clamp jaw pliers. I was kind of confused at first on exactly what these were for, for but they did say they were, they were recommended to be used for battery nut ends that were rounded. Everybody knows those little squared ends on the ends of the uh, battery nuts and the battery bolts. They always seem to spin when they're absolutely not supposed to. So when these things clamp, they clamp down at a flush flat surface with a little bit of a space to it, able to clamp right onto and hold onto those battery nuts and those battery bolts that are spinning on you. Makes it a really nice little tool for you there. A standard battery cleaner for the nub end. And then it also, it does come apart and then able to clean out the insides of the rounded cables. That's just a standard tool that just about everyone has. Then the thing that I really like about this kit is the small puller. Everybody knows those battery clamps. They always get mangled and they get crusty, all the battery acid or here in Ohio, just rust in general. So this puller is a nice end to it. Uh, it's able to adjust the end tension. You're able to screw it in farther and then pull the turn this silver part in and it actually clamps the ends in to be around your battery cable. Twist that in to push the battery cable up off of the terminal ends. Makes it really nice. Uh, this one also, secondary tool, works great for 
windshield wiper arms. That's actually what they sell it for separately. This single tool, they call it BPT7, is on their part line. This is probably one of the best parts of this kit. And then the last over here on the ends, there are two little uh, battery terminal brush ends. One that has a quarter inch fitting to be able to put onto like a quarter inch nut driver or a quarter inch uh, socket end squared and then the quarter inch just standard hex bit nut driver to go into your bit drivers nice little stiff wire brush end for cleaning off all your terminals really good kit online they're a little bit pricey through matco if you just purchase them online it's like 92 bucks if you purchase it through their site but this week on the Matco truck and then their flyer, they are running a sale because it is a new tool. I ended up picking this one up on the Matco truck for right at 78 bucks. You know, some of you guys might say, yeah, you know, piece together, it's kind of a pain and it's a little bit expensive, but again, the tool truck comes to me. The warranty for the whole set is well worth it to me. I would definitely recommend to have this one. This is gonna cover just about every battery purpose need for the tools that you'll want. And finally, in keeping with good fashion of helping to shout out some smaller channels, some of those channels that didn't get a great start, the diamonds in the rough, people who just haven't had their time to shine. This week, we're going to be talking about SNR Motoring. SNR Motoring is a pair of guys who love doing a little bit of fancy race work out of their home garage. They've got a couple of really cool projects going on. My favorite would have to be the Mark III Supra build that they're doing, and they also have a uh, Chrysler Conquest TSI, I believe is the other one that they're building on. They love go fast parts. They've got a great amount of humor good quality picture audio in their different uh, videos that they have. I think that they're gonna be a bigger channel coming up. They're just, you know, kind of starting off over the last six, eight months or so. But I think that once they get some traction here from you guys, I think they're gonna be really taking off. I would definitely recommend for you guys to go over and check them out. They're gonna be coming out with, they say at least weekly videos and they've kept up with that religiously. If you guys want to be featured on the smaller videos. I just want to make sure that you guys keep right with the different styles of uh, different content that you have and as long as you are also regular with your content as well. That's one of the biggest things that all of the viewers like to see is once they understand the schedule and the kind of viewing that you have, then they just wanna see that you know, continue over the time. So I would definitely recommend that you guys keep on doing that. So next week, it could be you, we'll see. We're about out of time now to be able to talk about our Nifty Tools of the Week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. Make sure you guys stay tuned this weekend. I've got the Duramax bug and we're gonna be doing some more fun Duramax build. I'm getting a couple of more sponsors and we're gonna be doing some really cool fuel additions to the Duramax this week. We've been adding on some power. We put a little bit of transmission work in this last weekend. Now we've gotta beef up a little bit our low pressure side of the fuel system. A couple of the other little add-ons, we're gonna be doing a great video for you guys this weekend. That one should be coming out on Sunday. Tomorrow evening, Thursday evening, if you remember a couple of weeks back, I gave a shout out to a, a gentleman named Jason from Old Car Auto Guy Review. Uh, he does a lot of cool things. He's up in Canada. He's got a smaller shop, or a, sorry, a smaller dealership, and he just in general has really cool things on his channel. They do a live stream every single week on Thursday evenings, helping each other, shouting each other out, talking about some tools, auto reviews, things like that. I am gonna be actually helping to co-host on his channel this week. So if you wanna catch me tomorrow evening, make sure you guys cruise on over to Old Car Auto Guys Review and we're gonna have a really good time there. We wanna beat their subscriber count that they have for the people that are hanging out live. So we want you guys to be able to show up for that one. Have a good time. It's gonna be a great little evening for it. Thank you guys, I appreciate you tuning back in. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, turn on that bell notification so you get notified when I come out with cool, great content like this one. We're gonna be continuing to do this segment every single week on Wednesday. I appreciate it, thanks again guys. And as always, you guys stay awesome.